Hello, welcome. Take a moment, read this problem on your own, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so we're told here that Julie averaged 85 on the first three tests of the semester in her math class. Good job, Julie. So there's um, three tests, and they all were 85. Okay, I'll write that down. I like to write things down as I go. It helps me come back to the problem. Uh, in an easier way. If she scores 93 on each of the remaining tests, so on top of those tests, she's going to score 93 on some amount of them. I see they're using the variable t here, and I see t's in all the choices. So it's 93 times some amount of tests, right? So for example, if she scored 93 on two tests, that would really be like 93 times 2, and that would be 93 plus 93. Right, if she scored 93 on three tests, it would be 93 times three, and that would be the same as getting 93 and 93 and 93, right? So the idea is we're expressing that relationship through multiplication. And if she scores 93 on each of the remaining tests, her average will be a 90. Oh, okay, so we take this and define the average. I'm assuming they mean a mean here. We take all of the tests, the number of tests, and divide them, uh, we add up all the scores, excuse me, and divide by what? divide by how many tests there are. Well, how many tests are there? Well, there were three tests that she scored an 85 on, and then there were T tests that she will score 93 on. So we have three and T, or three plus T tests. And that all together should get you an average of 90, which it does. So if you look at choice three, that's the correct response. Now, what I like to think in this one, I was thinking, well, I feel a little unsure about it. If I have time, I might as well check it. And what I would do is multiply both sides by 3 plus t, right? If I multiply both sides by, say, it's like this, everything by 3 plus t, I can solve for t. And I can see, does my equation actually work? So if I multiply both sides by 3 plus t, I get what? Well, 3 times 85 is 255. Sorry, I should have pointed that out. It's 255 plus 93 t. On this side, the 3 plus t's will cancel out. And then on the right side, we have 90 times 3 and 90 times t. So 90 times 3 is 270. 90 times t is 90t. And now we're dealing with a linear equation, which is not so bad to manage. What I would do here is I would subtract 90t from both sides. 90t. Okay. And then I get 255 plus 3t equals 270, right? 93 minus 90 is 3. And then I just subtract 255 on both sides. And what do I get? Well, if I do that, I get 3t equals 15, and I divide both sides by 3, and I get t equals 5. So there are five tests where she would score 93 on. Now, on the calculator, if I quickly plug this in, I can see that I'm correct. 3 times 85, oops, don't need that bracket there, plus um, 90, scoring 93 on 5 tests, so 93 times 5, enter, I get 720. I'm going to divide that by 3 plus t. Right, that's what my expression tells me to do here. So I'm dividing it by 8, because 3 plus 5 is 8, right, and t is 5, and I get the average of 90, which checks out in this problem. So if you have time, you can check that out and actually check your work by solving for t. All right, hope this helped.